Diary Watchers, this is John and I'm back for Student Diary Part 3. Okay, so in this month's diary I want to talk to you guys about how to approach the portfolio projects. And they're very encompassing in terms of what you have to do during the course. Um, but secondly, you need to spend a lot of time on them. They're not going to be something you can do overnight. Uh, similarly, um, you're not going to be able to just flick through a book and say, yep, yeah, know exactly how to do them, pen it down, finished. Not going to happen. It's the designer course portfolio project number one. You have to pen down and put together um, a pitch project or a pitch document um, around about 15 pages long on your own personal concept of an idea and you have to put it down quite comprehensively. So everything from a basic overview to um, what the key features are of the product. Uh, give a five minute walkthrough. You'd have something in mind that you've got enough insight into, or alternatively enough elaboration that you can do yourself and be able to put that all down into a full game document. Okay, so you've got your idea. You've been putting it on paper for the last week. You've fine-tuned it. You've spell-checked it. What's next? Review it. Have yourself a bit of a read-through from top to bottom. Um, I don't mean just you know skimming down everything, thinking you know all the sentences. Look at each individual word. Sometimes spell-checkers and grammar-checkers, they won't pick everything up. Secondly to this, hand it to a friend. Hand it to your partner. Hand it to your work colleagues. You know, reviewing is the best way of fine-tuning a document. Um, as soon as you get some feedback on whatever that's been put out to the people, um, you'll be able to look through exactly what their feedback is or what their comments are, and hopefully build that into the document yourself. Okay, so portfolio project number two for the designers, it's a bug testing competition. Uh, basically, you have to find a game, whether it's one that's already out in the market or if it's on beta testing at some moment in time, you basically have to test it, find out what bugs are in it, and then report on them. You are given a report card to be able to fill out, and giving all specifics about what operating system you're using, and secondly, what stage of the game's at. Um, finally, you have to put down what bug you found, how you found it, and what you think you can do to alleviate the bug. Um, myself, I asked for a bit of help from uh, the tutor team first of all. I um, also looked on the forum, there's some very good threads out there already as to um, what site to go on if you want to do some beta testing. Um, but alternatively to that, go onto Google, search buggiest games or games with the most bugs. Um, you'll find numerous sites that have already gone through um, what games have got bugs, what are the easiest to find. Um, in this portfolio project you need to find 10 of them. Uh, so don't go for a game that's only got like one or two because you're really going to struggle with it. So what you could also do is ask some of your friends that have played games previously and found many bugs themselves or things that they could suggest towards the game uh, that could be made better because it's not just bugs that you need to find. Um, there is actually an option to do suggestions so such as um, something that's in the game that either doesn't work or you think um, could be better placed somewhere else. Okay, and finally portfolio project number three. Um, this one is a narrative design project. Uh, you basically have to come up with a concept of yourself, whether you use the same one as portfolio project one, because they could tie in quite well together. Alternatively it can be something completely new. Ideally it does need to be your own idea. Um, what I did was came up with a bit of an idea for an RPG. Um, I thought, yes, there's a lot of RPGs out there, however, narrative design can easily be used in that context. And one thing that I did with the portfolio project number three is um, put in details such as the backstory of the, the actual game itself, what's going to happen within the first couple of scenes of the game, um, a bit of a detail about the characters that are involved, um, and also um, such as if they're on the side of good, on the side of bad, um, are they possibly in the mix? Could they differentiate between either side? What the landscape is of the planet that this RPG is set on? Um, there's so many things that you can involve within it. If I could do, I could go on for about five or six pages, but it was kept to, I think I've got about two and a half 
um, that does include a couple of diagrams um, and pretty well set out uh, character design as well.